SMT Nation, let me have a moment of your time so I could tell you a little bit about our partner, Southern New Hampshire University, otherwise known as SNHU. SNHU is a great opportunity for a lot of you out there to possibly embark on a new career training, all right, getting a degree in a field that could be financially rewarding and intrinsically rewarding as well. It's a school that can give you world-class student support so you never feel left out. They've got great opportunities and programs, job projection for growth, flexible term starts 24-7 online accessibility. They also have a very extensive portfolio of degree programs with some of the lowest tuition rates across the country. And quite often you can transfer up to 90 credits toward any undergraduate degree that they offer. Different courses might include network security, application security, incident response, and investigation through their online BS and cybersecurity, one that I feel is quite compelling for a lot of you out there. So using our partner link down here in the description, as well as here on the screen, you guys can see it, snhu.edu forward slash need. You can check out their programs, get more information, register for courses, and sign up for your future. Consider SNHU for your future coursework needs and getting a career in something very rewarding. Check them out. Link is in the description. T Nation, we back. Nation, check out this uh, these speed tests here from the homie Green, SMT Nation member, supporter, subscriber. Appreciate you, Green, for sharing these. There is some incredible performance from AT&T, and I think these uh, these tests were taken within his market uh, in Texas. All right, so giving you guys an idea of what he's seeing, uh, he wanted to share these. So we've got gigabit speed on the N77. We're looking at a combination of DOD and C-band. So the two different frequencies that we're discussing here, we're talking about C-band at 3700, uh, and then the DOD at 3450. You get that combination of bandwidth, you know, I, I think in his market, I, I, we're probably looking at a total of 120 megahertz of bandwidth on that channel, right? The rest of it's LTE, uh, pretty impressive stuff. Very clean, right? No packet loss, low ping time, uh, lots of throughput, you know, over a gigabit per second for the downlink, 95 meg for the uplink. There's more too. Here's another test, right? We broke the century mark, right? 105 for the uplink, still gigabit speed on the downlink. And then we've got an idle ping at 18, so super low. You know, I, I, I think that is a phenomenal uh, performance metric. Absolutely very, very good. Uh, I don't get this kind of performance where I live. <laughs> not not typically. Um, I haven't really seen the downlink or the uplink for that matter. Uh, for me, usually it's between, you know, four or 500 megabits downlink, 600 if it's good. Uh, and then for uplink, usually between like 50 and 60 on the uplink so overall pretty nice stuff uh here's the last one he shared gigabit speed 79 up uh i'm most impressed by those uh latencies though very good even the loaded latency looks really really nice uh and then one more thing to kind of throw in there and this is where i'll kind of leave you guys with the last piece of his testing and, and why i really wanted to make this video was to kind of highlight what he was seeing for millimeter wave performance this is really impressive folks two gigabits per second on the downlink and we have 424 megabits per second uplink now i i think if i remember correctly i think texas as a state for at&t runs on ericsson radio gear so the antennas and the radios for ericsson and i i think that matters i think you get a, a different quality performance from different oems you know market to market and this is really good. Uh, the power of the millimeter wave, obviously, the frequencies, the bandwidth, really shows some incredible performance. Now, you do get limited range, uh, but where he was, clearly, he was getting really fast speeds. That's These these are by far the fastest speeds I've ever seen on an AT&T wireless connection. All right, so 2 gig down, 400 plus on the up. Impressive stuff. Wanted to share it with you guys. I know some people are down on AT&T, and they're pretty quiet in their market. Maybe they're not doing so much. Uh, but it looks like it's been really good for Green. I think in in his case, in his market, Verizon seems to be the one that's doing the least. So AT&T flexing their muscle there for him. I know he also enjoys T-Mobile, but shout out to Green. Thanks for sharing these. Love the millimeter wave technologies and the performance we see, along with the mid-band, the N77. Good stuff, Green. Uh, shout out to you. Thanks for sharing this. And uh, tell me what you guys think of AT&T's upgrades, right, and how their network is performing. Looks to be... Uh, doing pretty good in some places and um, maybe the whole idea of like AT&T not caring about wireless maybe it's just a little bit overstated I think 
obviously where they have market share, they're giving it more attention and it makes more sense that way, right? So maybe that's what it is. Uh, but tell me, uh, you seen this type of performance from AT&T? If not, uh, how's it been for you? Comment down below. You all voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.